Oh, it's a tough yeah, one. It's a big talker. Yeah. I know. Well, hopefully she's living her best life right now. No uh, oh, rumbles of thunder, no uh, fireworks, hopefully, <laughs> as we get closer to, uh, what is it, Father's Day weekend, Jay? A big weekend for you? At, yes, yes, it is. It is. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big one, absolutely. <laughs> All right, well, we got the mild temperatures and very fall, uh, what fall, very Father Day-like uh, forecast. Look forward to upper 80s, low 90s. Perfect grilling weather is what I'm trying to get at here. Temperatures, they're going to be falling off into the upper 60s as we get closer to the overnight hours. So a south wind is in place for this afternoon. Therefore, we do have a bit of mild air to talk about. Currently upper 70s to low 80s region wide. This is where we should be for the middle of June. So we're taking advantage of the seasonal temperatures while they last. We do have high pressure disposition to the south of us, bringing those southwest winds. But off to the west, we do have even warmer and even more humid conditions to look forward to out in advance of our next minor storm system that's going to be sliding across the lower Great Lakes. But notice how the winds are behaving, bringing more gulf moisture in place. So here's Thursday humidity we have to look forward to. Then we're going to cool back down as we get closer to around Friday and Saturday. Then that dramatic long standing warm up heat up is on the way as we wrap up your seven day forecast. But for tonight, the added boost of humidity is going to keep temperatures in the mid 60s. So not as cool as we've been experiencing over the past couple of mornings. So we're off to the races when it comes to the mercury mid 60s around daybreak for tomorrow with a south wind. Temperatures rebound nicely in the mid to upper 70s around mid morning, nine o'clock, partly cloudy skies. And as this advancing cold front slides in our direction with the added humidity, we cannot exclude a pop up shower to around the afternoon hours. Again, the shower chances continue to lessen with the uh, more updates we get with this next cold front that's going to be sliding again late Thursday into early Friday. Cold front arriving around daybreak Friday, bring the return of north wind of, of a north wind, and that's really going to set us up for a nice start to your weekend plans. North wind temperatures maintaining in the upper 70s for Friday afternoon. Here's a preview of your weekend forecast. It's looking nice. Upper 70s for your Saturday, low humidity. For Father's Day, upper 80s. And that could be the introduction of a long standing early season heat wave we have to look forward to as we go closer to early next week. Sunday, upper 80s, mid 90s for Monday. And the 90s will continue. But pay attention to this big picture forecast here. We only have the dew points highlighted here. So again, once we get high pressure to be uh, positioned off to the east of us, and that's going to open the floodgates for that higher humidity, that gulf moisture to really flow in. So the brighter colors you're seeing, that's indicating dew points approaching the upper 60s, low 70s. So feel like numbers could be approaching triple digit limits. So we have to keep a close eye for dangerous heat and humidity Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Hopefully some pop up showers and thunderstorms could give us some relief. But high heat seems likely as we get closer to and beyond this weekend. Now I know wow. I've been saying for the last week that I'm, I'm looking forward to that 95. And but then, now I see two more of them stacked up behind yeah. it. And yeah. I'm, so by, by Wednesday of next week, I'll be saying, Anthony, where are the uh, 80s? We're all going to be sweating. All of us are going to be sweating. I know we are. I like it. I'm trying to look 89, 70. Okay, it's good. It's good, good, good. Anthony, thanks. <laughs> sure.